Hello, I'm Rachel Zemberry, Chair of the Arlington Redevelopment Board, also known as the ARB, and I will be taking you through Warren Article 35, which is a zoning bylaw amendment for industrial uses for the 2021 annual town meeting. Many plans were used as guideposts in the development of this zoning amendment, starting with the Arlington Master Plan. The master plan was the impetus for an appropriation of funding to investigate possibilities in our, zone, in our industrial zoning districts. The plan stated that the industrial district uses and dimensional standards, what you can build and where on a lot, needed to be modernized for restaurants, innovative businesses, and the creative economy and other opportunities. This is further supported by the Arts and Culture Action Plan, the Arlington Heights Neighborhood Action Plan, the Millbrook Corridor Report, and the Net Zero Action Plan. Each of these plans and discussions around the industrial districts were developed through strong participatory planning processes subsequent to the adoption of the master plan. Work began on this project in 2019 in partnership with the Master Plan Implementation Committee's Zoning Bylaw Working Group. RKG Associates and Harriman were hired to assist with the reviewing existing conditions, performing a market analysis, exploring and testing development scenarios, and making zoning recommendations. The goals of this project were to position Arlington to attract new businesses and jobs in emerging growth industries to the industrial district and create opportunities for Arlington to realize greater revenue by making strategic zoning amendments. The zones have 91 parcels across a total of 43 acres. The zones represent 1.2% of taxable square feet of development. The district is varied with small to larger parcels across Arlington. The current uses allowed in the industrial districts are wide ranging and are either hyper specific by dedicating how floor area may be used or vague categories of uses that are necessary businesses but not reflective of the needs of potential industrial uses. The proposed amendments reflect specific recommendations from the master plan that reflect the current market needs for the wide range of industrial uses. Within Middlesex County, Arlington could capture 1,000 plus new jobs and there is potential demand for redeveloping approximately 200,000 square feet of space over the next 10 years. To capture this new growth, first and foremost, the proposed amendments aim to address the antiquated table of uses and density and dimensional requirements that are preventing the attraction of new and modern uses to Arlington's industrial districts. Modern occupants want larger flexible spaces with higher ceiling heights for taller machines and storage racks. Flex uses combine commercial activities under a single commercial entity, including light manufacturing businesses, offices, distribution facilities, research and development, and retail uses. These uses are in addition to and expand on the existing artistic and creative production uses that are currently allowed either by right or by special permit in the district. Because we expanded these uses, new definitions related to these uses have been created. The economic analysis found that newer dining options could be introduced to these districts. The amendment would allow restaurants by special permit if an accessory use to an industrial use. This could be complementary use to food production and brewery uses. Retail uses are also proposed to be allowed by special permit if accessory to the industrial use. This could be complementary to light manufacturing businesses, food and beverage production, and creative economy uses. The last use we are proposing to introduce is residential. Residential uses are proposed to be allowed by special permit only if they are accessory to industrial use. The master plan recommended that residential uses should be allowed in mixed use projects where the associated commercial industrial space comprises a majority of usable space. Currently, the zoning bylaw strictly prohibits residential uses in mixed use projects in the industrial district. RKG Associates completed a pro forma analysis to determine whether the proposed amendments are realistic requirements to set on a property owner. RKG found that a new development of industrial and commercial use alone may not be a viable investment for a property owner to develop a site. When including residential uses, the pro forma showed profitability, which is why we need to amend the description of the district. This on the following slides show examples of potential mixing of uses that would be allowed within this proposed amendment. In this example, the residential square footage is not more than the square footage of the ground floor light industrial space. Here, residential uses would not be allowed over office use because the ground floor must include a light industrial space. Here, the residential square footage is not more than the square footage of the ground floor of the principal building, which does include light industrial use. In this example, the ground floor of the principal building does not include light industrial use and residential is not allowed. All of these examples illustrate that residential would only be allowed if accessory to an industrial use. 
The ARB believes that appropriate limitations are in place with this proposed zoning amendment to not supplement industrial and commercial use. To recap, the proposed zoning requires commercial industrial uses to be ground floor uses in any mixed use project in the industrial district. Additionally, residential floor area is tied to the floor area of light industrial uses at a one to one ratio. Any additional residential use requires further financial review by the ARB. The proposed zoning amendment includes the development standards for any new construction or addition greater than 50%, which acknowledge and support the other efforts that are important to the town. There is a significant emphasis placed on incorporating sustainability measures and stormwater management measures. In acknowledging that the industrial districts contain many existing residential uses and are close to residential districts, the standards also emphasize the need to develop human scale buildings, pedestrian amenities, and consider building height within the context of the surrounding often residential neighborhood. The amendments introduce measures for renewable energy, improved yards, transparency and access in relation to the bikeway, compliance and safe lighting, and pedestrian amenities. It also requires us to make modest amendments to our parking requirements. In summary, the proposed amendment updates uses and requirements to encourage modern uses while meeting appropriate requirements, incentivizes sustainable redevelopment and public realm improvements, balances investment and some profitability to cease the stagnation of Arlington's remaining industrial zone land, and positions the town to meet demand for 1,000 jobs utilizing more than 200,000 square feet of potential redevelopment space. The ARB voted five to zero at our April 5th meeting to recommend favorable action on Article 35. Thank you.